here is my template just traced an original ES125 pick guard laid it on traced it with a pencil and let's cut it out and send it to shape So we got our template, it's really precise, it's the half of the pencil line is gone, so it's really great. Just want to label it. So now we take our pick guard material, that's acrylic, it's 2.29 millimeters thick and just want to look at the pattern, which one would be the best maybe this side or that I think I'll go for this this will look good because here is the black of the guitar of the sunburst and this is a little bit darker where the guitar is underneath yellow so this may fit good into the context mm -hmm. simply draw a line Leave too much left over because this is really expensive. Should have buy the white marquee, but it's visible to me. Yeah. is it. Next thing is to stick it on to a template just with double-sided sticky tape. Of course the pick guard now is a little bit oversized because of our next operation. Alright, let's go to our router table and just take a flush cutting router with the bearing at the bottom actually because the router is mounted in hanging so this is the bottom we could use another one where the bearing is um, at the top actually but then the router blades will extend a lot and it will be dangerous so i will take this one and simply lead it like this instead of this always watch your fingers with these machines and always use your brain because your fingers are much more important than any guitar there's still a cover foil on it but I will leave it on until the very last step if we would just drill the holes pick guard would be almost finished for an L5 which hasn't a pickup um, but we need the pickup recesses for two pickups and I also want to bind it in white just like this because I like it much more so let's bind it I meant an L50 or an L48 if you mind just cut it these two pieces to length just with an overlay and I want to thin it down. I will not make it with my pen saw. It's just too small. Just sand it roughly with my machines. Did I already say that I hate plastic? I trimmed it really rough to size and now I want to straighten it and I can do it with heat. 
to bend the curved side, I simply stick it with this side onto my template. and heat it up again. So just like this, I will heat it up again and then let it cool down. Let's take off the sticky tape. It does have a little bit of a spring back and here and there it's not straight but it's soft enough that I can push it out and yeah it's time to glue that stuff okay this is how I will try it it's my first time doing this I just nailed on a straight piece of wood and I will just come up with the nails. I already made the miter for this edge here. Looks really good. I will nail it on, then I can pull it out again, add the glue and quickly push it back. I can also add some plastic wedges here and there. All right, now it looks like this. Let's take it out. Because we routed the edge, we have a perfect straight and flat surface to glue on. I just need to remove some overhang from the foil, from the cover foil, but I don't want to pull it off because it maybe will keep the glue from sticking directly on the surface of the pick guard. And I can then pull it off, would be cool. Let's glue it. First I want to clean everything that I want to stick because grease of the fingers or maybe oil from the router or anything else could make problems. I want to use this binding cement. I worked with it once and it failed or I failed. I could take super glue, but this will melt up all the stuff and there will be no visible line between the bond. Let's start and press thumbs. I want to be fast this time. really melts the plastic can, can you see yeah the problem was with that stuff that it really softens the plastic really fast and you're in a hell of a hurry get this in in this very tight fitting mold it looks really good I think I will just add some glue right here at the mitre it will soften it and, and close the gap completely. Yeah, that's what I will do. Just take some glue and spread it to here. Try to get it in somehow. Just a little bit. Maybe just like this. So. Put there another nail just to close it completely down or maybe I can just come in with another wedge just like this so I will let it cure it says it dries really fast but I don't trust it since the last time it's really all very gummy and it will surely take some time all right it's the next day so let's take it out
No. Doesn't stick. I don't know why I am not able to handle this glue. But it's no, it's a fail again. I have to do it again, I think. Shit. So let's see what happened. Um here is a lot of glue residue and it just doesn't melt the binding nor the pickguard material so well that failed and that glue failed again so I will put it into the trash and I will do it with super glue now and I will make it off camera I have to resaw this because this is my last binding stripe and I have to cut it in the middle and then I will do the exact same again but just with the super glue. Alright so I did the exact same thing just with super glue and I just put it on some packing tape that I don't hardly glue it onto my wooden board. So let's see if we can if we can get in. Oh yeah. We can. Got some squeeze out underneath, but this won't be a problem because we still have the foil on it. So next step is to scrape it flush and make it pretty. Cool. Super glue rocks. I'll just put on some double sticky tape so I can stick it onto something flat and the pick guard won't move while scraping. Take my old trusty scraper. I should use a bench hook right here. That's way better. I love my table with this big fat vise. Scraping is really fun. Made myself the classic death stop. Um, so I can come pretty close and as soon as it stops to scrape I know I'm almost flush that's really nice I think that's it for now I'll just make the bottom and we can move on on the back side we can peel off the cover foil just for fun just to see how it looks Yes, I have to sand it a little bit. I might just can clean it just with my thumbnail. But to get the binding flush, I have to sand it anyway. And polish with plastic polish. I've never done it before. Yeah, I hate plastic. <laughs> that looks cool. I think I will go with 240 first. May I come in the last time touching with the scraper with a light touch. I think I will go with that and then just fine sand it really with fine uh, wet and dry sandpaper. I will start with 2000 Well, that looks good Really good So this is the underside now and this is the front um, Before we can move on and peel off the cover um, We need to make the recess for the pickups. So let's just cut them in and scrape it properly and then peel off that stuff and do the exact same thing as on the underside but yeah and then polish and finish it. I don't know if you can see but I marked out where the pickups are and I will take a six and a half millimeter for the corners so let's drill it and cut it. All right, so I had to custom fit a lot uh, on the back side because of the pickups. 
Um, and let's just peel off the front. I also made the two holes. Let's get rid of the foil. Sand and scrape the last high spots. Still have the depth stop on my scraper. I will start with a thousand again, just on the back side. So I can see. How it does. But I don't feel good. And then come on with the two thousand. I will do it with my lathe. Yeah. Just need to break down this last burr from scraping. And as usual, I do this kind of work at the very last state. I can already see the final result and then move on with polishing that stuff. Should also break this corner just a little bit. This one just a little bit. Polishing will finish it. Lovely, really. Okay, now uh, we'll go on with some swirl remover. It's plastic um, polish. Let's see how it does. Let's move it a little bit faster. Already starts to shine really well. I still have some swirls. I may go back and sand it again, so, but I don't want to let it look like brand new because it will be mounted on an old guitar so I don't go crazy. So for last polish I will take this cloth, I don't know what it is, it came with the polish, seems like very fine polishing cloth. Got some swirls in it, as you can see, but I don't want to get them out. Yeah, it looks great. So the last thing to do, my beloved violet potassium permanganate. I will just cover the whole pick guard with it and let it soak for at least one night, 24 hours. And tomorrow the white binding will be brown, brownish, yellowish. I love this stuff. See you tomorrow. Or rather in three seconds. <laughs> I just quickly want to show you what the potassium permanganate actually does. It's obviously really violet, but let's soak this piece of wood in. And it's really violet, but it turns very quick into a brown yellowish color and I think this is also a way to color wood just like staining it really gets a golden shine looks really familiar and kind of like vintage so I love it really it works with plastic fantastic and if you want to color plastic it's Hard to do because nothing will attach really easy. All right, so it's about 20 hours later and I will just take it out and put it onto some kitchen towel. Just look at this crazy stuff. Look how brownish it is. I will just rinse it with water. It won't be that dark at the end, but yeah, that's so cool. Just want to show you this is a bright white. This is the actual binding material and it browns up really cool. Yeah, I love it. As you can see, few scratches. I could actually um, sand it or polish it out, but right for now I'm really pleased how it came out, how it shines and yeah, looks like kind of old and all the scratches could be happen during cleaning or something else what can happen in 70 years so I'm really fine 
looks great. So the very last thing to do is just to give it a little bit of a twist or something like that. Some kind of deformation because we want to make it look old and I just simply made a hole into that piece of wood and I just just take the screw right here I want to locate it that I'm in that hole and then I will just heat it up a little bit If you can see but it's a little bit warped give it the last shot guess that's enough you can see it from the reflection there is a slightly dip in it right here and also I can see and feel something right here yeah that's cool I would call this done I'm very happy with it. it, looks old. If I have to make a pickguard for a brand new guitar, I wouldn't do it like this. I would turn over and really sand it all out, all the scratches and polish as hell. And of course, not age the binding. But for this guitar from 1952, it will look neat, perfect really.